The following are the summary reports of the 10 commissions of the Diocese of Borongan covering the period of January 2021 to June 2021, namely Commission on Catechesis, Commission on Family and Life, Commission on Social Action, Commission of Basic Ecclesial Community or BEC, Commission on Youth, Commission on Lady, Commission on Prison and Pastoral Care, Commission on Biblical Apostolate, Commission on Migrants, Commission on Mass Media and Social Communications. Commission on Catechesis. Good day to you all. I am Sister Mariben Espinosa LGC, the coordinator of the Diocese and Commission on Catechesis here in the Diocese of Orongo. Our director of the commission is Reverend Father Michael J. Ribamontan. But I am tasked to report to you our activities for this past six months of this year. The Diocese and Commission is focused only on our the journey inwards, our development of our faith and strengthening of our faith in this in this commission. But uh, so for March 2021, March 28 to 30. The Diocese and Commission staff, together with our former director, Reverend Father Cyril Kaliba, and four of our Diocese and staff, have our retreat, three days retreat in Tacloban City. So, those, the retreat focused on our Lenten, Lenten reflections. And for the month of May, the Diocese and Commission also um, launched the online cate Flores de Mayo catechesis. And for the month of March also, in the celebration of our 500 years, the Diocese and Commission on Catechesis launched our Singbahan Han Kabataan our online TV program focused for the children. Our target program, our target audience of this program are the children from grades two to grade six. So the, the, the said program was launched on a March, second week of March, and until now it is ongoing program so that is our main main task main focus for the catechists also to tune into that program and they are, they will be the one to to deliver it to their children so as of this moment that is all that that is the best that we can do and still we are going doing our best for the glory of God Mission on Family and Life. So the director of the Commission on Family and Life in the Diocese of Brungan is so busy in uh, his parish because he just uh, took over last uh, first last week of June this year. So for the meantime, I take over his place as director of Family and Life Commission. So the same thing that we do in this time of pandemic. Uh, if, in case of meeting, he used the term bubble meeting, uh, bubble activities. And uh, one thing that we provide to uh, our parishes and uh, families is we uh, created that uh, counseling ministry. And I'm happy that there are many uh, willing individuals who are experts in this uh, profession to handle uh, counseling, individual, family, or marital counseling. So we made it uh, possible, uh, made it uh, available to them 
and we announce it in our TV, on radio, and social media for those who want to avail uh, counseling because of uh, the effect of this uh, pandemic. Uh, many people are depressed and lonely, so at least the church is ready to respond to their needs. So I'm grateful to uh, St. James uh, Church of the Poor Foundation for the support you give this uh, commission, Family and Life Commission in the Diocese of Barungan. Thank you very much and God bless you. Commission on Social Action uh, Good day. I am Father James B. Abelga. I am the newly assigned director of the Commission on Social Action of the Diocese of Morongan. Uh, right now, I will be reporting to you uh, the different projects of the Commission uh, from January until June. Uh, we started with uh, PISEA. You know? uh, PISEA uh, stands for Protection Against Sexual Exploitation and Abuse. Uh, this project ended last May. Uh, this year and then uh, sumunod is strive yung strive uh, pumasok siya no 2019 uh, basically uh, strive is focusing on the youth uh, youth governance uh, health care for the youth and then uh, empowerment uh, to them no uh, pumasok naman yung uh, e-summer uh, e-summer uh, also focuses focuses on the children, uh, mga kabataan din ang focus, but this time uh, mas focus siya sa DRRM. So kung paano mga kalagaan ng mga kabataan at ng mga kababaihan, especially uh, sa panahon ng mga calamities or mga uh, tragedies, mga catastrophes. No? So yun. At ang pag-apat, kakapasok lang uh, this June, uh, yung uh, family farming. Uh, family farming, uh, basically, uh, nagtuturo sa mga, sa mga pamilya uh, kung paano nila bubuhayin yung mga pamilya nila uh, through farming. Ano? So, basically, uh, yun ang apat na projects namin uh, this this quarter, you know, from January until June. Commission of Basic Inclusion Community or BEC. BEC is the trust of the Diocese of Barangan in terms of uh, pastoral ministry. That is why, as the Bishop of the Diocese, I chair this committee so that there is assurance that we really implement this program to all the chapels, to all the parishes throughout the diocese. And because of the pandemic, we only have uh, limited activities. If in case there are Bible sharing, so we make it sure nga bubble group lang, bubble Bible sharing, bubble uh, meeting, so that uh, everybody will be safe from the contamination of uh, COVID-19. And we maximize the use of our facilities in the diocese like social media, uh, cable TV, and radio. So I am grateful to the continued support of SJ Copa for this pastoral program of the Diocese of Barongan. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. God bless you and more power. Commission on Youth A blessed day to our dear benefactors. I am Sister Ophelia Corpus, Pastorelle Sisters, the new Diocesan Youth Coordinator, Commission on Youth of the Diocese of Borongan. On behalf of our new director, Reverend Father Jason Gamado, would like to present to you the program of activities conducted for the first quarter of the year. On March 13, we had the Lenten Recollection to the different chapels. 
March 20, Commission on Youth Pilgrimage to Walk and Recollection. April 4, Virtual Siete Palabras aired at Commission on Youth official Facebook page. April 25, Vocation Jamboree via Luches online Vocation Jamboree in partnership with the Voice of the World Media Network. On the month of May, Laudato Si Week, Commission on Youth Replanting participated by the youth from the different parishes. June 20, the Yusesan Youth Coordinating Council meeting, evaluation and programmation. June 26, outreach program at Barangay San Mateo, 80 youth are recipients for the prepared foods. We have the regular TV program, Kabatan Express. Relevant episodes aired every Thursday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. The Commission on Youth staff attended various webinars conducted online. We are also preparing for the Diocesan Jubilee Pilgrimage Youth Cross this coming October in line with the celebration of the Diocesan Jubilee launching for the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. We are expecting to implement more program of activities for this year and for the near future despite of the challenges brought by this pandemic. Thanks be to God for His indescribable gift. May God bless us all. Commission on Lady Good morning po. I am Reverend Father Edwin Lenuevo. Ako po ngayon yung Paris Priest ng St. Joachim Paris sa Dolores Eastern Samar sa Diocese of Burongan. At ako, yung, ako rin po yung I am also commissioned to head the Commission on the Laity. Sa ngayon po, sinusundan po namin yung uh, ginagawa ni Father Joseph, yung previous Commissioner Director ng Commission on the Laity, tungkol po sa katekesis. At ipagpapatuloy po namin yung kanyang programa sa katekesis, lalong-lalo na po yung may kinalaman ng politika dahil naghahanda na po tayo ng election sa darating po na election. At susubukan po namin makipag-coordinate palagi kung ano po yung sinasabi ng CBCP, lalo-lalo na po yung gawain po ng mga laiko sa misyon sa simbahan. Kung paano po namin, how we would be able to translate and activate the mission of the laity in our diocese. And hopefully, hopefully, in the coming months, we might be able to come up with a structure. Meron na pong istruktura yung Commission on the Laity. But I would be checking on how it is going. Lalong lalo na po yung uh, involved and members coming from different parishes sa aming diocese. And how we can come up also with a plan, like a working calendar for the rest of my four-year uh, to six-year term as Commission Head of Commission on the Laity. So yun lang po yung aming uh, inaplano sa ngayon. And uh, babalik ulitin ko po na ipagpapatuloy po namin yung sinimulan ni Father Joseph Nicholas yung catechesis as part of the evangelization program lalong-lalo na po yung mga laiko para sa kanila and also involving them as the evangelizers. Yun po. Commission on Personal Pastoral Care My name is Father Emmanuel Carilia and I am the priest in charge of the Commission on Prison Pastoral Care. I have been in the ministry for already four years. And in the first quarter of the year, we implement the two objectives in the ministry. The first is to evangelize and at the same time the second one is to help them materially in our own little way. Yung kaya ng commission. Now first, what do we do during the first quarter of the year? Now before the hard lockdown, we would go to the provincial jail and the Borongan city jail to catechize, to do catechesis. And then, 
uh, part ng catechesis is to celebrate the big events during the first quarter. Like for example, the Holy Week, yung Lenten season for example. We let them feel that their community is in a way a small church. So meron kami mga activities like for example, we celebrate Masses. And secondly, we administer the sacraments of confession, baptism, etc., etc. And then aside from that, we we teach the children who visit the inmates basic catechism, yung mga doctrines ng simbahan. And then secondly, uh, in the first during the first quarter, we are we are planning for the family day and for the gift giving na gagawin for the last quarter at saka sa second quarter yung yung family day it happens during october kasi october is the prison awareness month ngayon kasi lockdown wala muna kaming wala muna kaming big event big activity in which we have this opportunity to gather as a big group uh, yung ginagawa namin ngayon, we just uh, make ourselves messengers kung ano man yung nare-relay ng kanilang mga family members outside. We are also asking some people for donation. Yung hindi man lang financially, hindi lang pera, kundi yung kanilang mga pwedeng maibigay sa mga inmates. Like for example, mga damit, mga pagkain, at saka mga ginagamit ng mga kabataan ngayon, yung mga bata, yung mga anak ng mga inmates sa pag-aaral, we ask those people outside. And so far, we will try our best to do whatever is necessary and we will devise things sa mga plannings namin kung paano namin ma, ma, masusustain yung ministry even in the time of lockdown and quarantine. So far, yan lang muna. Salamat. Commission on Biblical Apostolate Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. I am Reverend Father Edgar B. Aposejo, the new head of the Commission on the Bible. Ngayon lang po ako na talaga bilang bagong tagapangulo ng komisyon ng Biblia nitong nagdaang June 2021. And with regard to the program of the commission, it is my intention to continue what the previous head did for the good of the commission and the service of the diocese. Yung pagkakalam kong nagawa nila na nais kong ipagpatuloy ay yung mga regular na pagdidistribute ng mga Bible guides sa different parishes so that the families who would get these Bible guides would know the Word of God as I know that day. Ngayon yung isip kong pagpatuloy din yung regular TV program Pulong for the Word of God na ibinibigay as a reflection of the day regularly ng Commission Head. And thirdly, yung ginagawa ng Commission is to um, coordinate contests on the word on the Bible. Ito ay according to the mandate of the uh, National Commission on the Bible. Um, I'm happy to uh, tell you that during the time of my predecessor, they were able to send someone from our diocese to the national context. And uh, now that I, am, that I have received the mandate to continue the program she initiated, I have already uh, talked initially to during my term it is my plan that aside from what they have done already 
in the past, I would like to give attention to telling stories. Stories of the Bible, especially the ones told by Jesus. And the aim of this is to reach families and to reach the growing up kids. And this is what we would like to promote throughout the diocese, from the parish level to the regional sectors of the diocese and level, and into the whole good diocese. Thank you very much. Commission on Migrants. Ako po si Sister Lolita Gima, ang isang pastoral sister at ang diocesan coordinator ng Commission on the Pastoral Care of Migrants in Their Families at kagapay po ni Father Dennis De Leon na siya po ang aming director sa commission ito. Sa aming commission o ministry, meron po kaming plan of action na aming sinusundan para sa buong Apostolic Year 2020-2021. So sa month of January to June, ito po yung aming mga activities. Bagamat nasa pandemya tayo, nagawa po namin ito. Una po, from January to April, nagkaroon po kami ng monthly communication sa UWA to follow up the status of our uh, scholars na anak ng mga OFWs dito po sa Eastern Samar. At isa po para malaman namin kung meron po mga nakauwi mga OFWs sa Eastern Samar. Pangalawa, tuloy-tuloy po ang aming programa. Ang tawag po ay Buklora ng Migranting Pamilya Islihanon. Every Wednesday po sa DYBW Mass Media Network. Pangatlo, ipinagpapatuloy po din namin ang Lingguhang Pagsasanto Rosario kada Sabado, alas 8 ng gabi. Para sa mga OFWs at ang kanilang pamilya at ito po ay pinangunahan ng ating kagalang-galang Bishop Crispin B. Barkes D.D. Pang-apat, ang Diocese and Poor Group po ay nagkaroon ng yearly evaluation ng aming programmation. Pang-lima, nagkaroon din po kami ng launching sa Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Parish sa Matarinaw noong June 27, 2021. Yun po yung mga highlights ng mga activities namin from January to June. Sa ngayon, naganda rin po kami para sa aming celebration ng National Migrant Sunday this coming September 26. Maraming salamat po. Commission on Mass Media and Social Communications. Here are major activities of the Commission on Mass Media and Social Communications, covering from the period from January 2021 to June 2021. Daily airing of three weekday masses and four Sunday masses that are simultaneously broadcast in the following media platforms. Cable TV in eight parishes and chaplaincies, five kilowatt AM radio station, live stream in three Facebook pages and in one YouTube channel, weekly airing in the aforementioned media platforms of the following programs hosted by the Assistant Commissions, Kabataan Express by the Commission on Youth, Migranteng Pamilya Estehanon by the Commission on Migrants. Dignidad Hantawu by the Commission on Social Action. Kinabuhi Pamilya by the Commission on Family and Life. Salamat Han Pagtuo by the BAC Commission. Simbahan Han Kabataan by the Commission on Catechesis. Pulong Han Kinabuhi by the Commission on Biblical Apostolate. Production and airing of special TV and radio programs for Lent and Holy Week 2021. Special coverage of 500 years of Christianity celebration in Homonhon Island, Kiwan, Eastern Samar. Training of parish news reporters conducted virtually by Ato Marolio, Rupert Ambil, and Walter Tupas of FYT. And lastly, 
training of volunteers of the decision commissions on video production conducted by Manny Arago of Eastern Samar State University.